Hi, how are you? It's Travis here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we went to the ruins of Isildian because supposedly there is a dark ceremony going on there, and we need to retrieve a Gorduni orb for Rockoran. And we did that, and after we got her the Gorduni orb, she told us that we need to deliver it to Ogrimmar to Uthelne in the Darkbriar Lodge. And he will tell us what the ogres are up to in Feralus. There's Rockaran right there. Today, it looks like Rockaran does not have any quests for us. And we are not going to go to Ogremar just yet. We're going to stay here and do some quests inside of Feralus. We're going to speak with Hadouken, Swift Strider. Well met. We must ensure the survival of this camp at all costs, Druid. Our enemies must not be given any quarter. For they would surely give us none where we need where we to need it. War on the, the Woodpaw. The Knolls. They are more than our nuisance. They are a constant threat to the existence of this very camp. It is irrelevant whether they are indigenous to Feralus or not. If we do not strengthen our resolve against them, we will find ourselves driven out of the entire region. The Knoll attacks against the camp have become more fevered. As of late, we need your aid in thinning their numbers. Bring to me ten of their mains, and I will reward you handsomely for your effort. Go. So we need to bring ten Woodpaw Knoll mains to Hadouken Swift Strider in Camp Mahache. Go in peace. Yes, we will go in peace. Let's buff up first. Gave Hadouken a little buff. Let's give ourselves some buffs. Yeah, his name uh, kind of reminds me of a a move that Ryu does in Street Fighter. Ryu always goes Hadouken when he shoots one of those uh, blue blue magic balls at somebody. I forget what those are really called. I just remember them were like some blue power balls, and he just shoots them, and he goes Hadouken. Used to play a lot of Street Fighter back in the day. Played Street Fighter Third Strike. And I believe my uh, my favorite character in that game was Yang. Used to know a pretty decent combo with him. Third Strike is my favorite Street Fighter game of all time. Loved the pairing in that game. So we gotta find some Knolls here. Got a woodpaw trapper. I guess these guys are the gnolls. The woodpaw. And these are the guys that have the mains. Check this woodpaw gnoll. Let's see if this guy gives us names. Because they're level 42. Not too bad. And it looks like this is where we will get our woodpaw gnoll mains. So we are a little too bit high of a level for this. Clearly, do is probably a level 42. We are level 48. I did not know uh, that the gnolls were a threat in Feralus. So it looks like they have the horde have a problem with the gnolls and the ogres. I wonder if the gnolls and the ogres fight each other. They may not. I haven't fought Knolls in a long time. Like the last time I fought Knolls was, I remember at the beginning of uh, the beginning in uh, Malgor, we fought him in this cave right here, Pale Main Rock. It's like one of the first quests I ever did was fighting Knolls. Looks like they made their way to Feralus. You guys are like, I don't know, they're like man hyenas, that's kind of what they remind me of. The drop rate on these, uh, these null mains doesn't seem to be too high, so it's not too bad. I assume we're going to have to slay around 20 of these guys. And they're not too far from Camp Mahache, just south. 
if you're looking to uh, do this quest, just go south and find these nobles. I've never seen them while we were traveling around looking for the Gorduni Ogres. It's nice to have a little switch up, though. Been slaying ogres for the last couple episodes. Good to switch it up. Now we'll, I guess we'll have to deal with these these gnolls for now. We got three on us. Can we deal with three? Let's give it a try. Looks like this guy's like a shooter. Oh my gosh. This guy's are shooting guns at me. I'm getting a two, if I had a two-handed weapon by the war pod brute. This guy's trapped. I made a mistake there. I can, uh, get, should be able to get out of that trap. Go for the brute now. More stomp here. We're gonna heal up quick. Should probably, uh, root one of these guys. Rooted the brute. Let's deal with the trapper. We'll put a bleed effect on this guy. He's gonna trap him soon, I think. That was good. The brute gave us enough time to deal with the trapper. These traps are pretty annoying, but as a druid, I can shape shift out of them. We got a couple. Couple knoll mains out of that. Not too shabby. And we're also getting some mage weave cloth off of these guys. It's good to know that we can fight two at a time. Well, three at a time. I wonder if this is going to start a quest chain where we have to fight knolls. Cool if we fought like a a knoll, like war boss, like uh, an elite. Knoll. I don't think I fought an elite knoll yet. This, this last play. Let's get trap this down. Knolls are pretty cool. They're like man hyenas. I wish you could play one. Like they wish they were an allied race. I think they're cooler than the Volpira. But the Volpira do look pretty cool. It's cool playing a fox, but Well they're they're more like man foxes because they stand up straight. But I think the gnolls look a little bit, you know. I don't know, they look more tough. Well, Pure are like, you know, more cute looking. Steal this Reaver guy. I've never fought one of these. The one handed axe. A two handed axe. Imagine playing a Knoll Warrior. Be pretty cool. Or a Knoll Hunter. No warlock. Like, it looks like they're all right. Like, same with ogres, you know? I'm surprised we don't have ogres as a race. But we have Valkyra and like all these other races now on retail. Got the Mystic. Oh, got a reason coming in. Looks like the drop rate on these Null mates is pretty low. It's probably around like 30%, I think. Maybe 30 to 40 percent. Buff up. Yeah, we're having a decent time fighting these guys. So it 
what's nice about doing quests that are green, I guess. Don't really have much trouble. It's pretty quick XP as well. Right now, I'm pretty much trying to catch up. Get this, this zone caught up to uh, my level. I'm trying to do these quests before they turn gray. So that's the worst when you missed out on a quest because it's now gray. We have a couple of those in our quest log. Crusted tail fins and for fizzle. All of those thousand needle quests. Pretty much now. Uh, can't do them. Well, you can do them. I could turn them in, but I won't really get any XP for them. These mystics seem to be the best targets for me. They seem to get shredded by my physical attacks. It's probably because uh, yeah, they heal though. Probably because they don't have a lot of armor. Deal with this Reaver. Big crits on these guys. Got another scroll of stamina. That's good. We've been collecting those recently. I think we have like three of them now. And we have two scrolls of stamina tier three. I think we have another one. Yeah, we have scroll protection tier three. So we got, so we got some armor. We have an armor scroll. We also have a stamina scroll. That'll be good if we ever have to fight a tough elite. You need as many buffs as you can get for those guys. Got a gold thorn herb over there. Might pick that up. Come on. Remember playing uh, on the beta? In Alliance, I used to die to the Knolls a lot. And, uh, I don't know if any Alliance players watch this. But right around here in Sentinel Hill, there's Knolls here. And they've been, they were slaying me all the time. Right around Sentinel Hill in the back. A lot of Murlocs there, too, that I have trouble with. <laughs> some bugs over here, some Zucash Wops. Wasps. Might have to fight those pretty soon. I'm trying to get this gold thorn. We might have to deal with the Zucash wasp. I haven't fought one of these yet, so let's let's give it a try. I wonder how high the levels go here. Whatever gets to level 50 or anything like that. Cash loss. Maybe drops. Just delicate insect wings. Let's get some uh, gold thorn here. Looks like we discovered the writhing deep. I wonder what that is. Alright, back to the gnolls. But we don't pull all of them. Yeah, we did. This isn't good. It's gonna be a tough battle. Is that... Is that what? Is that re mystic guy gets a, gets a heal off? We're going on from... Okay, well, let's deal with this alpha. Heal up! It's like he ran out of, uh... Oh no, we rooted the wrong one. Rooted the range guy. Let's see if we can deal with this, uh, this alpha. Or this, yeah, he's casting again. Let's move back. Hopefully he doesn't heal this guy. Trouble. 
Rage, get down. I think we'll be okay against this mystic. He's out of mana. Should be okay. Nice. Good thing he didn't heal any of them. That would have made this a little tougher than it, uh, than it already was. Good thing is we didn't need to use a health pot. Running low on those, but I think we can make over 20 of them. Got nine null mains now. I think we should probably have a drink here. And we'll get back to slaying some gnolls. The toughest... Actually, I have fought an elite knoll. I did it on the alliance side. I fought, um... Hogger. Can't believe I forgot about him. You fight him in, around here. In, uh... Right near Stormwind. In Elwyn Forest. It's usually surrounded by a bunch of gnolls as well. It's a popular... Elite to slay. He's probably one of the most popular elites in the game. Everybody always tries to slay Hogger on level like ones and twos and stuff like that. Can't believe I forgot about Hogger. Yeah, the Horde never really slays an elite no. I haven't, I haven't like fought one yet. Wonder what's the first elite the horde fight, and uh, that they have to deal with. I don't even know if Hogger's an elite to be honest. Is Hogger an elite? He should be. I don't think he is. I have to figure that out. He might actually not be an elite. Maybe the gnolls just are never elite. They just never have an elite mob. Yeah, maybe he's not an elite. It's pretty low level for him to be elite. I think it's like under level 10. Nice, we got another we got a superior healing potion. Those are always good to get. It's nice to see those drop. Played a lot of these gnolls, so if you were doing this quest, be prepared to uh, slay close to uh, 20, 20 plus of them. I think we've slain over 20 by now. Just picking and picking them off here. When you're fighting these mystics, make sure you save like a finishing move when they get low. They tend to like to heal. Like right there. Sucks. Not... I can't build up enough combo points on this on this guy to uh, get a finisher on him. I like the healer at around half health, so it's kind of tough. The thing is, we're getting pretty decent XP off these guys. Try to get full combo points here, quick. That was a big hit. He's gonna heal like right now. Okay, we got lucky, so he's done. He'll probably start healing now. Nope. Didn't get a heal off. Decided to attack us. Also, gotta get our uh, thorns buff back. It's like no alliance out here. Perilous is a pretty dull zone. Beautiful zone. Like, looks great. But I never see any alliance. In Phase 2, there was a ton of them. And it's usually because Phase 2, there was a lot of world PvP going on. Every world, so Every zone was occupied. I was a pretty low level during that time, so I didn't get bullied too much. If I was around, like, 50 in Phase 2, the level I am right now, I'd be getting ganked by a lot of level 60s. So there's our last Woodpaw Knoll main. So it looks like we're done with the Knolls. So let's hearth back to Camp Mahache. 
see if we got any garbage to sell here. Pick up any trash? Yeah, it's all here. Keep the mage weave cloth for now. Eventually sell it, I think. Should probably get rid of this choke, too. Let's have a chat with Hadouken. Switch hey. driving. We drive them back, and yet they still attack. Someone or something must be driving them into a frenzy. Oh, you have returned. Hey, flight carrier. Do you have the mains I require for the bounty to be met? This is proof of a good start, flight carrier. Your skills as a soldier are to be commended. You are not the only one I ask that task of many before you have fought them, and in times past, our efforts have kept them at bay. Recently, though, their attempts to push northward into our area of influence have increased dramatically. Their attacks have also become more savage, almost as if they were desperate. I have a plan, though, Flag Carrier, that might settle things once and for all against them. All right. Well, looks like uh, Be careful. next episode we're going to have to deal with these gnolls again. And we'll continue this quest chain of fighting these gnolls in Feralus. It's nice that we're switching it up. You know, we're not fighting Gordoni ogres anymore. I think eventually we'll probably go back to fighting ah, the ogres in I've been Feralus. You. Let's sell a couple of these, uh, these items here. That we picked up. We have a lot of quest items on us that we need to turn in. But that is the end of the episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.